Hey everybody, welcome back to Nika Brothers. We're out here in north part of Charleston. We're at Copart Yard, over 600 cars playing today. Super excited because there's a lot of cool cars, a lot of good builds, cheap builds, and expensive stuff. So let's not waste any time and check out our first vehicle. All right guys, super exciting. The first one on our list is this 2005 Dodge Viper. Super excited about it. Definitely the reason why we came out here all the way, three hour trip in the morning, you know, woke up like at 4 a.m., but it's all good. You know, we're here to check this out. First time selling, insurance is selling it, so everything kind of checks out, but it's mechanical damage. Kind of weird, right? We'll see what's going on. Cause I, I think I've seen this thing before as water damage. Dang. It's, been, a, it's been on the list to sell for a long time. That's really weird. So it's good to know so. the history about it. You can see some damage right here in the front already though. I thought it was just mechanical, but definitely some fiberglass work. Well, let's pop the hood. I just closed it. There, oh, it's been close. So the hood has damage. Look at the radiator. Something went through. Dang. Well, that bounced through. I mean, that's not that bad though. We've definitely done worse. Yeah, so it's got, I mean, this is all fixable. That's all Front fixable. Damage, that's good. Fixable. I don't know why it's all taped up, or well, this side is fine. That's fine, yeah. Okay. So far, not too bad. I don't see no mechanical damage. Maybe check the oil. Yep. There it is. Because we've had a Viper, right? Yeah. It has no oil in it. No oil. Maybe one of these is a oil cooler, too? I think it is. That's for a little one. Um, I it looks like it. It looks like it's busted, yeah. Yeah, it's completely busted off, so man, that sucks. And if you try to start with no oil. No good, no good. And then it's not running dry. Wet. Completely wet. Battery's dead. Let's get the jump box, see if we get some power to it. Go from there. Or there you go, even better. <laughs> the keys to it? Yeah. It's a manual. manual. Last two Vipers we had were pretty sick. This thing used to have a spoiler. Somebody deleted it. That's that's different. Unless that's a sticker. I don't remember them having that. Yeah, it looks like a little sticker on there. But let's just put power to it and see what it does. Yeah. So we're not gonna try to start it, but the seat's all wet. Luckily we have this piece of plastic. Let's check the mileage, because does it say mileage on there? Uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> check everything out. Fifty three thousand miles on. That's a lot. Or a Viper, I guess so. Somebody drove this thing. Somebody drove it. Feels pretty nice inside. I guess we'll see what it plays for. It plays today, so we got some more to check out. Let's keep going. I'm excited, let's get it. All right guys, moving right along. We got ourselves a Acura MDX, RDX. I mean, and the pictures look like very minor damage. Look at that. Look so it probably bounced back if the fender popped out. Yeah, pop that back. The headlight's probably broken, it's got water inside. Yeah, fog, oops. <laughs> a little wet. But right, look inside, it's run and drive. Maybe no airbags deployed. Could be an easy fix, maybe pop the hood. Yeah, airbags are deployed. Oh. Two airbags. Oh, even the engine cover popped off, Michael. I mean, the fans are good. Start right up. Yeah. Has power. Pretty cool. Not bad. I mean, the airbag blue, but. Seat belts, too? Yep. Automatic hood closer. Yep. Right there. Pretty nice. Hey, but I'll check engine light. Start it right up. A little tire pressure. Just a little fender bender. Literally. Yeah. Let me check out the. It's got a flat tire right there. The rest of it looks pretty good. Smoking, it's a accurate thing, but not bad. I guess we'll just have to see what it goes for. Yeah, honestly, it's not bad. Makes sense, the damage pretty clean. Makes, you know, nothing too crazy. It looks like a pretty easy fix. Yeah. All right, bad. let's keep going. Here we go, Acura MDX 2015 is playing right now. North Carolina is winning and now I'm winning and I'm outbid by North Carolina. Here we go. 3,600, it's not bad, right? But it's kind of like bidding wars for sure right now. Ooh, it's chilly out here, guys. We're in Charleston, South Carolina. Anything be a little warmer? Nope, it's still We're cold. Right by the beach. All right, I'm at 4,000, Ivan. What do we call it? At 3,000? 
so a thousand dollars ago but now we're winning four thousand one hundred it wasn't bad airbag blew up the bumper a little bit i mean it's got 119,000 miles on it all-wheel drive south carolina four thousand two hundred 2015 I, mean, I think we should call it a quit honestly because everybody did deploy so then you have i think the knee airbag went also seat belts locked up that's for us module the headlight one more behind so, the bumper one, no last one last one four thousand five hundred four thousand four hundred fifty that's better ivan there we go winning pure sale and we're out bid again really fast too it wasn't like yeah so let's keep going nothing, i mean guys still the got the viper playing i know but that ranger went too much we got a Silverado still. I'm excited about the Viper. I think it would be sweet. We weren't able to start it though, so that's a gamble for sure. Four thousand five hundred fifty dollars bonus time. I don't think it's worth it. They uh, can have it, man. Four thousand six hundred. Somebody else still outbid them. So even if I got into the race, it would be three of us bidding, and they're still going at it, guys. That's pretty crazy because you're looking at these close to six thousand already. So. Easily a thousand some dollars on fees, six k after all the parts. You probably pick it up for a a grand right now, anyway. So not meant to be. Moving on. Got ourselves a Ford Ranger and a some kind of teal color. Interesting. I don't know. I mean, this would look really good in a GTR color. This would be pretty cool. XLT. We got some front end damage, but. Doesn't look bad. Look at that. Cooler's still fine. I mean, intercooler. Intercooler. Turbo. Oh yeah. Same engine as the Bronco. Wow. Very weak. But no, like it looks like the front bumper. Front bumper, a little bit headlight. Minor. Minor damage. Did any of the airbags deploy? Let's okay, check it out. But uh, so far, the coolant is good. AC, we don't worry about. Airbags look good. Airbags look good. I heard some power. Maybe we'll start right up. 38,000 miles on it, which isn't bad. Look at the little film on the glass. Wow, peel it off. Only if we buy it. I Only if we buy it. But it start right up, engine sounds good. I mean, all the tires are looking good. It's a four by four. It's got some parts in the back. Everything's looking really good. Michael, nice. who, who needs a Viper when you get this? This is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Viper's cool too though. Sure. We'll see what the Viper goes for, but this could be a money maker. Yeah. Viper is just a fun toy. It is. It's harder to sell, lower market. This is more practical, but hey, Viper's is still fun. So we'll see. I don't know. They're both playing soon. I like this one. Yeah, me too. All right, Michael, I got you a special surprise. This Civic, no body damage. Well, I mean, yeah, it's something good. you can do, no so, problem. So far, so good. Clean. It's not a flood. All right. Check it out. Outside looks pretty good. Outside looks pretty clean. A little dip right there on top. Not a big deal. This side looking pretty clean. Trunk looking pretty clean. Got the paint right here. I don't know. That's that, a normal. That battery? Like, hey, they got seventeen. They got a cut corner somewhere, Michael. That's crazy. So let's look inside. Ooh, inside. leather. Oh, this is nice. Heated seats. Clean. We'll start. No power. Yeah, let's pop the hood and check let's it check out. Check the engine. Yeah, that's important. Oh, we got jump box, so it is so cold out here, Michael. You can open the hood. It's a little chilly. My fingers are already numb. <laughs> there it is, Michael. So this one is a mechanical Jeez. damage. Somebody hit VTEC way too hard. Definitely. They sent the it. That is gone. But we got an engine and a transmission. And it was, I'm sorry, we have an engine at the shop. We can oh, swap in. Gotcha. I mean, yeah, we've done it in this before, so I'm going to rebuild this one and just really take it out put another one in there. Or we could do like a fancy swap and put like a V8 in there. Tesla swap. Tesla swap. Tesla like Civic. That. It's a lot of work, a lot of time, a little profit, but fun videos. But, I mean, we have an engine, so we're going to see what this thing goes for, if it's worth it, you know, because sometimes these mechanical damage, they go for so much, like... Surprisingly, yeah. And, I mean, buy a wrecked one. It'd be cheaper. It. But uh, we'll see. This one's coming on auction today, too. But we got more to check out. Wow, guys, that Ranger went for so much. It's pretty crazy. I mean, honestly, I picked up another one before a lot cheaper. So 
not enough meat in the bone for me to be able to get it, repair it all the way and fix it and sell it for a good price, whatever. I mean, it's definitely okay, still a good deal, but they don't go for that much surprisingly. So gotta let it go, can't win them all. Sucks, kinda wanna drive it home. You know, I was, I was still clicking it, I was still clicking it and then slowly died out and who knows, after fees and everything, just ain't worth it. Let's move on to our next car. Next on my list, I have a 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500. Uh, is it four by four? It has to be. Has it's Z71. Hopefully. So we definitely got some front end damage. This I mean, that fender can be replaced pretty yeah. easily. The bumper, lower piece, yeah. the headlight, not a big deal. The suspension kicked in too, though. That front wheel is pushed back and lean it. So. Okay, then airbags deploy. This side's looking good. Cracked glass, tinted windows. Miles on it, not bad miles. It's a run and drive. Got some shotgun shells. These trucks are fun to fix, you know. Yeah, love them. A lot of work. Started right up. Nice. So not too bad. Comes with a free hitch. It's got a little bit of bed damage right here. But other than that, it's a truck. Pretty good looking truck, no? Not bad. Yeah. It comes with a free hitch, Michael. Looks good, right? The builder said pretty good. I think so. It's got some mud tires, but not too bad. I guess depending on the price, we can mess with it maybe. Yeah, not bad. Moving right along, guys. We got ourselves a GMC Sierra. It looks like our Silverado, but it's not. Same year, but lifted. Got some wheels on it. A little bit of front bumper damage. I mean, as long as the frame horns didn't go, we'll be fine. But headlights like, busted. It's pretty light. I mean, it pushed the fender back and broke the mirror. And the bumper, steel bumper. It scratched the whole side. Definitely scratched the back. I mean, the bumper is touching the rim right there. Maybe it was a little hard. <laughs> ah, it bad. still opens. That's not bad. Look inside. Deployed. It's uh, it is four by four. It's got in the floor, but it's not a fully loaded one. Not bad. It's got some waders. Oh yeah, we needed those. Those are like hundred dollars. I think they're more than that. So, not too bad. The battery's good. Miles. Well, miles. Not bad. No airbags it's, on. Needs a good cleaning. Why are they so loud with the beeps? Like, we, we, we get it. We get it. Let's see if it drives. Does it roll forward and back? We start right up, no lights in the dash whatsoever. Yeah. It means we can buy a boat, Michael, because that's the next thing we're looking at. If you tow it home with this. Oh boy. I what? like it though, let's get this, sure. All right guys, so the Chevy Silverado is playing right now. I'm gonna get in the game. I'm winning for 6500 which I think is pretty good, and I'm outbid by Mexico. I don't know, but what's our cap? It's not bad. 6000 One more. Ooh. Hit it like last minute. No, all of a sudden everybody got interested. It's a bidding war, Evan. It's pretty oh. bad. We went from 6100 to 7600 really quick. Mm, looks like it's snowing in the background. One more. 7,700, I'm winning. It's still Outbid. not bad. It's still not bad. I mean, it's still a pure sale. But I'd rather get the other truck. I know. One last one, that's it. 7,900. It's not bad. I'll be happy if we win it. Pure sale, 7,900, probably gonna get. Bonus time, 7,900, we're winning. Okay. It started right up. I mean, airbags didn't deploy in this one, right? That's pretty good. I don't remember. I'm happy. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's get it. 7,900. Oh, I'll bid. Mexico, one more. One more. What if we lose it? One more. Whatever. Oh my goodness. That was like the last second. 8,100. Mexico's pissed. That was literally like it ended. You're the guy. And I hit it. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know. And we won. 8,100. I think it's nice. That's not bad. I think it's still enough meat in the bone. It's a nice truck. Everybody loves the truck. All right, let's keep going. Cool. All right, guys, so we're looking at trucks and we're looking at boats because it'd be nice to haul this back, but we don't have a trailer, Evan. I see problems already, but it's a 2009 with a little bit of scuff. Look at that. Like, who doesn't want a fishing boat, Michael? My kid loves fishing. That's not, the, that's not bad. You can fix that. A little plywood, a little Bondo. 
super glue. We're gonna put carbon fiber wrap in there. That's pretty thick. No, that's not that big of a deal. It's got a little scratch on the side. Is that normal that way? Under leaks. That, I think so. Okay, hopefully. It's for the oh that's not normal, that scratch. Yeah, that's that's not a decal. <laughs> But we could put a decal on it. Right, look at this motor, 225. Two twenty five. And look, it's a ski tower, so you can like put a tube. That'd be pretty sweet, you know? Not locked up. That means it's not in gear. Yeah, oh, I think it's pretty sweet. So, but it looks like they took all the electronics out of it. Look, there's no speakers in there. I don't, there's a fish finder. It's a fish finder, yeah. But, um. Let's see if it starts. Let's see if it's got keys in it too. Fishing, all your fishing rods in here. I love fishing. It's got keys. Yeah. Does it start? Look, is it going gear? Oh, it feels good. It feels real good, yeah. Sounds good. But Ooh, it's got power. What? Let's see. Ooh. Running, yeah. Okay. Deck lights. Power. How are you turning this puppy on? Right here, right? Yeah, gotta put the key on there. All right, but uh, so far it's pretty cool. That was spinning over. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Tilt it down. See if it tilts. Oh. It goes up, but it doesn't go down. Definitely needs to go down. There it is. Okay, ready? That needs more power. What that's do you think? Bad. We should play this. Dude, that's not bad. It's kind of fun. Where would you find a trailer for something like this, though? Facebook Marketplace. Yep, that's the place to go. I mean, whatever, let's play it. <laughs> Why not? It'd be fun. We'll see, we'll see. But there's lots of boats out here. Jet skis, engines. Um, there's a camper, Michael. Look. Ooh, Ooh look at that camper. Yeah, uh, that's rough. I think that's been there for, since last year. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. But... Uh, we got what the Silverado we're waiting for it to play. Yep. And then we'll play this and then if anything we'll just throw inside. Yes. All right guys, so pretty crazy how we missed that other Sierra. I mean, honestly, it just glitched right in front of me, but probably the water and whatever, who knows. But hey, we got one, so I'm still pretty happy. You know, it was a good day, we went out there, tried to find some stuff, things weren't for a lot, except I think it's a good deal. You know, definitely a lot of work to do ahead of ourselves, but we'll get it done and knocked out. But thanks for watching guys. Thanks for joining today's walk around slash buying something, getting it done. Leave some comments down below. What was your favorite vehicle? Did we make some money, hopefully, or you thought we, you know, didn't have to do a good deal, but appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching. See you next time.